violence is something that is inculcated in us as we grow up in the way we are socialized, but it's also cultivated. Uh, when you believe in yourself, uh, you have confidence in your body, you have confidence in your mind. And um, when, when I talk about it being inculcated in us when you're growing up, it's just affirmation from, from friends and family that, that you're beautiful and you're smart. And when it comes from people who matter, of course, as you grow in life, there, there are people who are going to poke holes into your confidence. And I cannot tell you how many times I've been told I'm ugly or you're, you're not intelligent, you're just a rabble rouser. But um, when you believe in yourself, it's all about self-belief in, in, in your abilities and in your mind. When you're growing up as a child and as a young person, you don't get to hear it from the people that matter. You know, family matters, friends matter, and you don't get to hear it enough that you're beautiful and, and or you're smart or, or you're very talented in this. Or You know, sometimes even our talents, it's not, it's not us who get to, to, to see them who get to recognize them, but probably it's our parents or it's our peers that say, oh, you know, you're so good in this or you're very good at this could do or it will be great if you you know do it more practice on it build on it yeah but there's also that aspect that um about you you know you believe in yourself because people can believe in you but you do not believe in yourself believe in your ability in your mind and it's it's not in like um overbearing way that you think you're the smartest tool in the box per se, but just know that what you have is important and you can build on it. And it's something unique that probably somebody else doesn't have. And if they have, they do not do it the same way that you do it. That's quite interesting. Now, for those that have just joined us, uh, this is Intendao Varsity School of Soft Skills. And today uh, with my guest, uh, we are talking about um, how to develop skills, uh, particular specific skills and also how to make, how to develop confidence. Um, Aoko, now for those that again, I've never met you, the reason why I invited Aoko to this show, uh, it's uh, because she's got a particular way of writing uh, with her content and you know, she divides opinion. Um, but as I said in the beginning of the show, uh, I personally, it's not about the content, but it's, it's about the package, uh, which is uh, the confidence, uh, the skill to be able to write and, and yeah, to believe in yourself. Now, you mentioned about uh, being told by your parents uh, that, you know, that you're good and, you know, keep going. That's quite interesting uh, because in African setup, and again, you, you, whenever you write about your stuff, you, you tend to, to talk about African uh, communities. and. You know, oh, goodness. I am a Pan-Africanist <laughs> to the core. So, well, let's say you're, if someone says you're a traditionist, uh, will that define you or not? Uh well that is the opinion but of course there are aspects of 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 my ideology that are rooted in in our african way of culture that most of us millennials find primitive but it's not but i think uh my 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 my, my route is an amalgam of of uh, what's pertinent in the traditional way what's pertinent and paramount in the in the modern way because not everything about the traditional way of life uh, is, is, is um, productive or healthy, but there are, there are aspects of it that are very core and very fundamental and very grounded that I feel if we adopt and we don't shun, then um, we, can, we can end up to be a very viable society. That's interesting. In African setup, uh, girls are told to stay in the kitchen. Uh, when girls are told to look after after the communities and 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 boys are taught to go to school that that was then right exactly and actually that's 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 the what i call victim mentality and scream and screeches about patriarchy that i try to deflate and treat as the myopia that it is because that's not the issue anymore that was eons ago right now girls have opportunity to go to school girls have opportunity at the workplace girls and women have opportunity in the corporate circle you know in politics of course, there are bottlenecks here and there, but I also tend to believe that these bottlenecks are not skewed entirely only to the women. You know, there these are bottlenecks that also face the men. And so this mentality 
uh, that 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 we we are oppressed and we are subjected to patriarchy and chauvinism. It's bullshit, man. That's interesting. Well, uh, I'll still go back to my earlier statement. If you go to Mars Abit right now, uh, actually, actually, I've got a friend, um, uh, Uliz Mars Abit, and I've, I've visited her. And then that area, you still see, um, for example, women sitting alone and men sitting alone. And there are some chores that's just for girls and just and just for men. No. What is what, wrong with differentiation of roles? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with different? That does not mean that there are some things that are just for for women or just for men. It just means that women tend to be good at some things, and men tend. Do you tell me that a woman can go in and hunt, and 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 raid, like they do probably in some of these pastoralist communities? You cannot. So when you say what a woman can do, uh, what a man can do, a woman can, can do better, that's hogwash. There are some things that just women do better or men do better, and that's it. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with differentiation of roles. That is because that is what makes us women, and that's what makes them men. We are not equal. We are not the same in, in, in our anatomy, in, in our aptitude. And the earlier we, we, we recognize this, the better, and we we'll stop all this bickering and shenanigan. Well, the reason why I mentioned that uh, was to ask you, what do you tell a girl that is being told that, uh, uh, no, let your brother go to school first, you stay at home? Or uh, those families that, excuse me, they go, or, 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 the, or, those, or those families uh, that don't recognize that girls can play football? It's, it's, it's very very unfortunate that uh, that still exists. And that's why I said that uh, as women, we still have bottlenecks that face us the same way we have bottlenecks that, uh, that, that face men. Um, I will tell such a girl that she has the wherewithal. She's very capable. And, and, and this, this is why sometimes some of these um, policymakers and, and the people we vote for and the so-called feminists you know, you need to, to come out strongly about instead of uh, tweeting about patriarchy and bullshit, why don't you form initiatives to, to go out there in places like Marsabit and go and, and, and you know, um, liars with the, 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 the elders and these families and the, the local administration to get girls to school because we can talk about it from, from, from now until Jesus comes, but if there's no action and probably the leaders in these areas, because even the places like Masabit and all these areas, they, they get the women representatives thanks to affirmative action, which to me is bullshit, but then we have it. But um, so the onus is on them uh, to try and, and, and let's talk more action. Right. But you, when you started this discussion, uh, you said that you, you get your confidence uh, from your family, isn't it? That's where it starts, right? Mm, yes, I said confidence does not just come about when you're an adult. So you, you uh, it, it's inculcated in you as a child, but you build on it as you grow and you cultivate it. It's like it's planted in you when you're a child something when it's planted if it's planted but it's not tended to then it will wither so if it's planted but it's not tended to then it will wither so as much as it's planted in you but for it to sprout and to grow and to be harvested and its fruits to be seen for its uh, fruits to be manifested in you then you have to cultivate it and tend to it you're very eloquent, and I like that. But uh, I'll, I'll go back again as, uh, when you were starting this uh, conversation. And again, for those that have just joined us, uh, this is Ntandao Varsity uh, School of Soft Skills. And today we are talking about soft skills that employers want. Soft skills are those behaviors uh, or habits that make, one, that make a person uh, stand out and be attractive to the employers. Hence, I've got my guest today who is Aoko Otieno, a uh, writer. And based in Nairobi, I'll go back to your family again, um, Aoki, if I may. So yeah, absolutely. So so your family, you, they believed in you, and 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 uh, you were able to to identify the support that your family gave you. Yeah, and you worked around that, isn't it? Yes. So it begins with the family. Yes, 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 yes. And and when sometimes I know it's used as as night as as um 
um, it's, it's a tacky statement, but when somebody tells you that, that probably you are not hugged enough as a child, and that's why you're bitter or something, there are some elements of truth in it. Uh, some of us lack con self-confidence in, in ourselves, in our abilities, um, not because it's not in us, but we, we never had it when you're growing up. That, that you're good, uh, you're, you're smart, um, you can do better, even if... Um, there are instances that probably, especially academically, you could have challenges. But most time what you hear, you're as stupid as your mother. You know, you're as silly as your father. There's not, not that aspect that uh, you can do better. You know, affirmation is very, very important, especially when one is growing up. And also, so she, Realization, it's not only from the family aspect, it's also from a religious aspect, it's also from an from, um, education aspect, and, and sometimes when just even your teachers. Um, like my writing ability, I think um, I, I, I did not uh, take it seriously until it was really brought out to me by, by, by my teachers, and, and they told me, uh ex expound on this build on this this is going to take you places and this is how you express yourself better where was that was that high school was that primary school or high school right from right from primary school uh when i write a composition and it will be used as a marking scheme to get the other students and you know that that, uh, that showed happened me. to you how, yes. how old were you then when that happened and no, I'm not going to say my age. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I, I, know, I do know how old you are. Uh, okay, I do know how old you are. I'm asking when you are. But that's only for you. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, uh, we'll see. Uh, I was in primary school. Let's okay. leave it at that. Okay. Uh, fair, fair enough. Now, yeah. look. So it starts. Uh, listen. Again, uh, the reason why I'm talking, we're having this discussion. Okay. Is is to try and show people that it is not just academics that provides opportunity. It's not just yeah. about papers. It's you know, the other aspect which you're calling soft skills. And one of the things that identify in you, or uh, I listen, by the way, before I was told about you by various people, and we do our research and we liked what you write. Hence, I'm having this discussion with you today. So it starts with the family. The family believed in you. Then you went to school, and also your teachers were very supportive. So also, the school that you go matters, right? It's not about the school that you go, because if I tell you the school that I went to, um, it's, it's, it's not about, um, uh, how, I don't want to use the word flamboyant, but, uh, every, 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 you know, the quality of education is not really about the, 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 the kind of, or the type of, of school that you went to. I went to a village school, but I believe I turned out just fine. Uh, it's about the teachers, you know, the mentality of the teachers. And, and I think sometimes we do not appreciate our teachers enough, but I feel most of them. Uh, have made us who we are uh, because they were able to identify our, our talents and, and, and help us build on it. So teachers matters a lot, don't they? They do. And, and so the confidence, so, you know, your family, your family believes uh, in this girl, you know, we want, when you're young, uh, I'm using, hence I use the word girl. So when you're young, you know, they, your mom and dad say, you know, so you can do it, you go for it. And you went to school, you found uh, very supportive teachers and they continue building your confidence and also your writing skills as well. Now, when you come to writing, um, so you are, you're a journalist, right? Yeah, I'm a trained journalist, right. not so, practicing at the moment though. Right. So when you write, what is your audience? Um, I do not straight jacket my audience. I write number one to so that my ideology gels with the people who share what the same the school of thought. That is what, number what is the ideology one. Of? Number two, I write to provoke. Well, what is that? I'm saying that my ideology is multifaceted. It depends when you're talking about um, politics. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, about uh, socialism. When you're talking about um, uh, social issues, for example, I'm anti-feminism. That is well known. So when I'm writing about the ideology of anti-feminism, then I, I write to those who deal with my ideology, and I also write to provoke those 
who do not concur with my sentiments so that either they, I, I challenge their thought process or I provoke them to, to, to you know, to an argument, to a discourse, yeah, to just challenge their mentality. Either whether they are probably going to, to finally gel with mine or not, but basically, you know, um, societies are changed or mindset are changed by viable and constructive discourses. In 10 years from now, if someone Googles you and uh, they see some of the articles of written and the language that you've used, uh, will, yeah. you, will you be proud of that? Absolutely. What's there not to be proud about? If, I, if, if, if I'm talking about the female genitalia, why should I say it's, 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 it's um, you know, a, a stove while it's a vagina? When you're talking about having sex, why should I play around with words? Or sometimes I can play around with words because as a writer, I'm allowed to, to infuse and, and, and imbue my writing with craft and art. But if I feel like calling things for what and who they are, things and people for what and who they are, then uh, absolutely no apologies to make over that. I, because in, te in 10 years time, uh, will the name of, of a female genitalia have uh, uh, will have changed? No. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm a huge fan, by the way. Um, so it's, 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 it's not a critique a question. But so, Alko, yeah. how will people, how will, so I want you to do it with your experience. I mean, you know, yeah. you've, you've written quite, um, I'll, I'll use that substantially. I mean, you know, you know your craft very well. So how will you tell people, how can they develop the skill of writing? Talent, but it's also something that um, can be cultivated. It's, it's not a preserve of, of, of just um, a clique of people. You know, you, it, only these people can be writers. These people cannot be writers. Anybody can be a writer. It's, very it's, one, of, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things that, that basically anyone can do. Uh, uh, number one, like you've mentioned, it's about passion. Uh, for example, I remember um, there was a time that uh, uh, when I was, before I got my, the opportunity to write for the Nairobi and uh, the standard as a columnist, actually I used to, I, I, I wrote for them for like a year plus for free. So I used to get nothing. I had volunteered as a columnist for a year before I finally got that job. So when you talk about passion, I know it. And the reason why I got that job is because I had shown my passion uh, when, when, when I, I wrote for the column for free. So when opportunity came, of course, there, we did interviews, but uh, I stood out because this is, this is what I've been doing for you guys. And, and given a chance, I, especially with, with um, packs added on top of it, they ca I can only get better at it. Uh, that's number one. Number two, um, writing is like milking a cow. Uh, you cannot milk a hungry cow, right? You'll get no milk. So you cannot be a writer at whatever level if you do not read. So for you to be a writer, um, you have to be you have to read. You have to be a reader. You, you have to read widely. You, you have to read uh, different genres, but, but it's also good to read what you're what, what you're interested in, but sometimes it's good to read things that provoke you. And don't just read for the sake of reading. Take your time. Sometimes I see people take challenges of, ah, this month I've read like four books. How? Do you read like you're eating to get full? Or you read to comprehend and, and get words that you don't decipher and try to understand this? And it, you know, reading is like having a conversation with the author. It's only that you cannot get to ask them the very pertinent questions that eat your mind, like what were you trying really to portray here and deliver here? But then uh, you, you, you get to ask yourself those questions and just devour a book and, and get indulged in a book. And, and um, it also shapes you when, you when you read different, different genres and, and you get to tap into the minds of different authors, it also shapes your, your, your writing style. So number one, passion. Number two, be a reader. Read, there's no shortcut about it. And number three, practice. You, you can have passion, you can read, but if you do not practice, then you can, because I can guarantee you when I started, I, didn't, I, I did not write like this. Sometimes I look back at the things I used to write. I was like, oh shit, I was this bad. But with time, and uh, of course with const constructive criticism, uh, there, there, there's some 
some hate masquerading as criticism. Those ones shun. But they're genuine and constructive criticism that are going to build you as a person in, w- in whatever sphere, whether you're a writer, whether you're a politician, whether you, whatever aspect of life, uh, of course, criticism builds us because um, those who are, that's why even in soccer, they're, they're, they're the coach uh, and, 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 and the, probably the fans and, and they're able to see things that uh, from your from where you sit you're not able to compre- to to see or, or decipher so when they get to to tell you oh uh, uh if probably you could improve in this if you could um change that if you could build not only about uh, improving but if you could so this is good probably you could build more on this aspect so yeah, those are my three key things I'll tell somebody who wants to be a writer. And I really like that. And you mentioned something about uh, your volunteering. Well, you work for free uh, for the standards. And again, this is some of those, again, aspects that I think young people should realize that opportunities don't just come. You've got to have, Thank you. you've got to have an experience. You know, you've got to have something to bring on the table. And, 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 you know, look, you, you don't And have... sometimes it's not about papers. Let me tell you, when I was, when I went for the interview, uh, now I was not being interviewed to work as a columnist. I was being interviewed to work as a correspondent for the standard in Migori. And now uh, being a correspondent now meant now the column was now also paid. So I was being paid as a correspondent to get the, oh, she said this, the, we call them, she said, he said kind of news. You're reporting on Governor Obado today, launch this project, blah, blah, blah. Those kind of stories and uh, uh, a little bit of feature stories, analysis, and also um, the column. So when I went for that interview, I tell you, I, I only had my care in C diploma and, and I had people, almost everyone in the room had degrees and masters. I got the job. That's quite interesting. And, I, and for those people that listen to us uh, right now, um, and, and that is a skill we need to develop. You know, it's, it's not just about going to school and accumulating the certificate, all those papers, and, and then Which is important. That, which is why well, the purpose is important. Right. Well, well listen, it's not, yes, education is good. But um, we are talking about now, look, if you look at Kenya, for instance, you know, we have lots of people that are jobless, people are losing. Yeah. So you've got to stand out. Yes, and, yes, and, yes. And, and when it comes to qualifications, you know, obviously, if you want to be a doctor, you need your papers. You know? <laughs> yes, so yeah. If you want to do my job, you need papers. But yeah. also, you, you need experience. And, yes. that, and, and that is why Tandao Varsity is, is, is there, to try and promote uh, uh, the culture of, of, of uh, not just considering papers, but also trying to build experience as well. And which you mentioned very well, you, know, you talked, uh, you know, you talked um, about volunteering uh, for the standard newspaper group and they saw your work and that's how you get that's how you put your food at the door isn't it yes so once you're in there you can move around yes now ability to communicate communication now mm-hmm. again i'm going to well you are here and i'm going to use it as, as an example you 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 don't you don't shy away from using big words do you Goodness, uh, <clears throat> big words here means um, you know a I little mean. bit of <laughs> flowery language. No, I do not. You know what I mean, Uncle. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's just say, I do not. I do not shy away from using big words. Thank you. Yeah. So if in the aspect of communication, when it comes when it comes to soft skills again, you know, yeah, you've got to be clear on what you say. You've got to be understood. And as a writer. You know, you want people to write your, to read your work, isn't it? And you've got, yeah. huge, you've got huge fans. But mm-hmm. I'm here sitting. I'm here asking myself, okay, you know, she's got the skill. You know, she she knows her subject. But if someone doesn't know you, you may come across as um, uh, I don't want to use the word arrogant. <laughs> use it. <laughs> So will, will, will that be okay to say that in your writing you can be because you know you know you can use these words? I am I am not I have a, a, a um I inflict if I may use the word infliction even though infliction is is connotates uh, negativity or something that uh, 
uh, causes pain, uh, but I inflict my, 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 my writing um, with an attitude. Yeah, and... Uh, can, I, can, can I tell you something? Just yes. You do know I'm a writer as well, right? Yes. But carry on. <laughs> I, I, I inflict or I imbue, uh, I inject some, some verve and oomph and, and an attitude in, 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 in my writing that um, others may misconstrue to mean arrogance, but at the end of the day, um, like I said, I, I, I write for those who uh, ideologies gel, my style of writing, they, they, they resonate with it, and I, I, I write for others who uh probably just uh see what i write as as as, as bullshit but at the end of the day they are also an audience and so well, listen you, you write beautifully it's a, it's it's you know i'm a huge fan as i said and uh, the way you mix words you know it's it's beautiful and again uh, that takes us to, uh back to what you talked about it's a it's a talent that you develop isn't it and yeah. and you read and uh, now this last segment I, I i know you know we've been here for almost 30 minutes now passion okay how yeah. do you build how do you build passion passion comes when you love something uh, they say when you do what you love you don't need need to be paid a, a day for it it's it, it, it's going to take you places it's, it's going to it's it's going to pay you itself when, when the time is right when you've you've built it to a certain a level so uh, passion is about enjoying and loving what you do uh, so much so that uh, you, you can you can talk about it, you can explain it, you you can do it, um, and, and without really expecting anything in return. So if I like men with money, uh, you know, and I'm passionate about, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Just because you're passionate about something does not mean that it's 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 great or it's good. Yeah, but that does not take away the passion aspect of it. Yeah. You're very passionate about, or some people will say that you, do you, do you, do you enjoy um, mm -hmm. being the limelight? When people talk about our, do, do, do you, does that um, encourage you, discourage you? And that's in the line of bullying, you know, because sometimes, you know, you can have talent and uh, listen, I, I like sports, you know, I like playing football and you hear stories of very good footballers. Uh, actually right now at the moment, I in England, there is a case where, uh, coaches uh, were trying to not abuse, but were very were very harsh on kids who were trying to go into ballet, and lots of kids drop on their way or stop uh, stop the sport because of the abuse on uh, that they were getting. So you get lots of lots of trolls. You know, you're still a very young lady. Uh, as I said, I know how old you are. You know, you're pretty young. And actually, people that have never seen you and have read your articles, they won't say that's you, uh, because you yeah. know you. You know, you, you come across very confident. No, sorry, of course you are. You come across as a very mature lady. You know, obviously you are. But uh, when I'm talking about age, you know, you will not fit to the category the way you write. So my question to you is, uh, even with the trolls that you get, but you don't give up, you just carry on. What, so what motivates you? Like I said, when you enjoy and you love what you do, then trolls are sideshows because uh, a, larger, a larger people, a, a larger clique uh, resonate with what I do uh, more than... Well, what, do you do? What, what do you do? I write and I express myself and I express what I believe in and I try to start conversation and discourses and provoke the mindset that I find to be simplistic, simplistic in our society. Yeah. And that's the uh, thing young people, isn't it? Don't shy away from speaking their mind. Uh, and, yes. and again, that's another aspect of, of really confidence. But please carry on. I, I'm, I'm very interested in hearing about how you found you, 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 can, you, can, you cannot speak your mind if you're not confident. Exactly. So you have to call, cultivate confidence for you to be able to speak your mind and we speak it without to... confidence. So, it's, uh, so do I have confidence then I go for opportunity or do I wait for opportunity to come to me then I build my confidence? You can never wait for opportunity to come for you whichever way, whether you're confident or otherwise, opportunities do not come for you. Uh, you, you strategize and you, you place yourself to attract opportunities. And sometimes you go for them. Yeah. 
I like that. Carry on. So how do you fight bullies or how, what makes you uh, carry on, even the trolls that you get? Like I said, uh, I, I, I find them as sideshows and, and detractors and detractors have to be there. You know, if, if everyone likes you, then there's absolutely, some, absolutely something wrong with, with what you're doing or what you're saying or your belief system. Yeah, so, so, so detractors actually show that the, the, I believe that you're doing something right. And like I said, part of my intention is to provoke. And, and it, I, if detractors mean that they are provoked, and, and that is what I set out to do, actually. Uh, not to provoke them, to provoke them in the sense to, 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 to rummage through their mindset and, and, and what they believe to hold true and cause chaos in, in their minds and tell them uh, 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 that status quo in your mindset, in your thoughts process, in your school of thought, that is not how things need to be. And that does not mean that what I hold or what I claim as things ought to be is, 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 is um, the absolute truth. I'm not monolithic in, in, in my, my, my way of thinking. I'm just saying, if, if you believe what you hold is true, then, then let's, let's argue. All right. And, and you know, see how I, it goes. I can sit here and listen to you the whole day. I mean, you are so clearly, as I say, you know, you're very confident. Um, you, you know your skill, you're very passionate. And these are kind of stuff that employers are looking for, you know, okay, when someone invites you for an interview, they like what they see on paper, but now when they come to personality now, and that's what employers want, because employers want money, you know, and, and if you're not conf confident in what you do, then you won't. You cannot be productive. Right. That's, that's the right way to use productive, not money. Now, uh, what do you tell young, so there are lots of people, uh, Okay, right now we're living in the middle of pandemic. Lots of people have lost their jobs. Uh, you know, there are reports that uh, domestic violence is, is, uh, is, is increasing. Uh, mental health challenges, uh, people are talking about it. So it is, uh, it is quite a tough period at the moment. How do you cope yourself? Are you okay with COVID-19, with things happening? Is it affecting you uh, with the opportunities or did, how? Uh, yes, how, how, how are you coping um, with COVID-19 pandemic? <laughs> uh, when you're talking about gender-based violence, thankfully, uh, um, I'm, I'm not married, so no one is hitting me, but I'm in a relationship, and, and uh, thankfully, uh, he's a gentleman. Um, but it, mental it, health. Sorry, just to go back. So you said you are in a relationship um, with a man. Yeah. Yeah. And and they support they support what you do. Yes, they're behind you and encouraging you. Yeah, it, it is important. Isn't yeah, it? and sometimes sometimes they, they 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 oh it's very 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 important um, uh, because um, number one uh, there's a sense in in, in a way that. Uh, some people feel that that when when you when you're an opinionated woman, then you intimidate men, and it's beautiful to find somebody who is not in, intimidated by your strength because you're not competing, uh, you are complementing each other, uh, and he knows you for who you are, and 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 he knows there's an aspect of you that the the, the millions or thousands of fans of people who who know you um, through the social media lens, uh, there's an aspect of, of, of about you or of you that he's the only one, or the people close to you are privileged of knowing. You come yeah. across you come across a very soft person. Uh, you know, if someone had never read your articles and listened to the the way, the way you talk, you know, you're very yeah. You, obviously, you know, you, you show your your passion. You're passionate about stuff, but also you come you you come as uh, as very very soft. I yeah, so that's why I say writing writing is 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 uh, like my alter ego. Uh, writing is a craft. Writing it, it it makes me infuse other aspects that um, it's 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 about creativity, and and that's why I I, I say it 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 needs to be deciphered, and most of the time not to be taken from the face value, and and sometimes people misconstrue misconstrue your, 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 your writing persona to your personality and they, they brand you which which at the end of the day well uh, it, it's, it's not a bad thing out there because if people probably knew the true you um they'll they'll be like ah 
you know so 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 th that perception that creating perception is also very very good for you as, as a writer what do you tell people that are listening to us right now about taking opportunities uh, or using social media uh, as a platform for opportunities rather than saying i don't have let me tell you uh, i have worked um i have my, my my work experience is not very rich if if i can say that yeah, i don't i don't uh, agree with that and i will tell you why and actually <laughs> why? I, will, I will tell you right now uh mm -hmm. so that also people can know this you, yeah. you are very shy to come and talk to me about what yeah. we're discussing now true or false yeah, yeah that's and, true and, and and you are saying that uh you know you don't have experience you've never uh worked for long but when i spoke to you on the phone i was like what's wrong with this lady I mean, what you're talking about is what I want you to come and tell people. So yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, my my work experience can it's it's not, it's not very rich. It's not very uh, profound. But the few times I've gotten job opportunities, uh, yes. mainly it's it's because of what I do online, and 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 they have sourced me from my online writing. The Nairobian got me through Facebook years ago, even when I had like 5,000 followers before they got to the 60K that they are right now. Uh, and, and even at the point when I was volunteering and, and, and all that, uh, it was because of Facebook. Uh, the only time that I got to work uh, outside the prints of, of, of my Facebook or writing work is when I worked as a PA and, and a communication guy for the Migori Woman Rep. But when I worked for the Standard, when I wrote for Opera News, when I write for View Sasa, when I when I did a communication for Third Wheel, every other opportunity I've gotten it's because of my writing on social so media. View Sasa, View Sasa, they're paying the bill, aren't they? <laughs> of course. Do they do they tell you what to write or they like what to write? Actually, when they when they engaged me, the email that I got was be you. Right. They had yes, they had gone through my 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 my, my, my page and, and 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 that is the content that they are looking for. People, I, I I say, people can be pretentious. They'll come. Oh, your language is strong. Uh, you're, 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 you're vulgar or you're mean. But at the end of the day, they are flocking my page. Why? Because at the end, they they, they want somebody who can say things for 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 what they are like 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 I mentioned and. That's that's the kind of content that that people might shy away from that, but that's the content that they want and they need. Do you know, I ca I cannot say enough what you just said uh, concerning you know using social media as a platform, you know, not just to build yourself, but also to create opportunities. And and for other parts, you know, people coming to your page and calling you names, and you know, if they don't understand something, you know, they they try and make it uh, or try be mean. Um, but it's, it's 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 about that. It's about not comprehending, and 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 I say sometimes you're very simplistic. Uh, and 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 when when for example, uh, the notion that I'm a woman basher or a woman hater that is the most preposterous thing I've ever had because I ask them again and again, and, and I am a woman for goodness sake in every sense of that word. Then why would I? Hating women means I'm hating myself. It means I'm hating my mother. It means I'm hating my sisters, my, 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 my friends, my, my nieces. And, and, and it, 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 my, my gender, it, 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 it beats logic when you argue like that. And I, I tend to think that um, they've, they've used to be treated with, with kid gloves for, for a very long time. And when somebody projects an, an issue, uh, they don't interrogate things like what really is she trying to say because as much as i've been tagged as as somebody who hails masculinity at the very core and foundation of what i do and what i write is i empower women differently not from the victimhood or victim mentality that they're used to oh we are oppressed oh do this oh that's your body you can do with it what you no no i tell them my friend that's your body yes but there's more to you than your body that you have you 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 are intelligent you can you can use your intellectual acumen and 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 your well with the and, and and your business skills and your talent to just soar and 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 be somebody in life without pegging your entire existence on on your beauty or your booty or or, or, or who you date you know so so 
my language uh, might not be the types that assuage the, the, the ego of women, but fundamentally what I do is to empower women. My modus operandi might be different, but ultimately that's it. So number one, like you've mentioned, most of them just misconstrue and, and misjudge my message, number one. Number two, like you've talked about mental health. People have, are struggling with issues out here. Somebody just is in a bad marriage or, 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 or uh, they're, they're, they're struggling with financial issues or they, they have this and that. And they, human beings are wired to let off steam. So they need outlets to just release all this pain and pressure that's in with them. And they, they find you as a punching bag. Oh my goodness. They're going to, they're, they're going to, to, to un, 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 unleash their venom on you. What is a dream, Alka? Number one, I want to be an author. Like you say, when people Google Alka 10 years from now, she'll not be known just as um, the, 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 the girl who, who cajels and bludgeons um, the, the, the fickle mindedness of, of, of the current crop of women on social media. I want to be known as an author uh, who has cobbled up a good book that even critics and, and, and detractors will, will agree that, that, that that's a good book. What's your favorite? Uh, number two, my favorite author? Um, in Africa, uh, I, 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 I have a, a great thing for, for Chinua Achebe. I like the way, way he, he cobbles his, his stories and the way he imbues uh, the flowery and, and sweet language and, and the African adages and, and proverbs and all that. I also lo love very much um, uh, uh, Adichie. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. And and uh, in the in the Western world, I have this lady. She's called Michaela Wrong. She's British. Yeah. So uh, you, she she okay. she writes very 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 impeccably well. Michelle Obama, have you read any of her books? Yeah, becoming. Are you are you a fan? Uh, I'm a fan, but I always say like uh, she stands out when it comes to authors. To me, that's just my personal opinion. But she stands out to me not as an author, but as a strong woman. Yes. And I usually use an example even in, the, in, in when when I'm talking to to young women on, and one probably in terms of relationship uh, because I've read her book Becoming. I've also read. Uh, Barack's books and, and how they met actually uh, she was already working as a lawyer and and, and Obama was was a student and the way they, they described I know him, where you're driving very, I know yeah. where <laughs> so from that aspect I, I admire and she's very super brilliant and confident and she's one of the women who who faced so much hate uh, I, I know the others who've called uh, a man and all that, but she stands out very strong and very passionate about the things that she believes in and very eloquent and intelligent. And um, that's, that's, that's one aspect why Barack respects her very much. And that's, that's part of the reason I, I, I tell women, when, when, when as a woman, you are able to stand on your own without the clock of the man that you're dating, even the man that will be in your life is going to respect you. You know, I want to deviate a bit, uh, just for a few seconds. So, it's fine. What is wrong with somebody that's very happy to be beautiful, to make their nails all the time, you know, to wait for a rich boy? You know, here in England, we call them wags. Well, we have footballers. Yes, I know what the term was. There's is absolutely that? nothing wrong with that. Um, our femininity as, as women is, is, and the way we are built and the way we are structured is, is for beauty. There's nothing wrong with celebrating your beauty and, and, and accentuating it. Accentuating it means doing your nails, a little bit of makeup, doing your hair. It's beautiful, but it should not be what defines you. Right. If it's what defines you, then you have no business talking about patriarchy because when you're talking about us fighting for equality or equity, when all you bring to the table is your beauty, then you cannot compete with, compete with men with that regards because men are not about beauty. So I believe as women, uh, beauty is just, just one aspect of us. And I think it's, it's a very negligible aspect of us. It's, it's not something that 
you know, should be blown out of proportion or should be the only thing that, 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 that accentuates you as a human being or as a woman, when you can, and, and like I say, beauty fades. Uh, um, when, 30, when you're in your 30s and your 40s and your 50s, you begin to have recall, wrinkles. You, 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 did, you say did you say on your, on your 30s? <laughs> Actually, it starts fading in your thirties, late thirties. <laughs> it 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 it's it's different. It's different. Of course, of course, the way you look when you're in your twenties is going to be very different with the way you look in your in your thirties and 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 forties and as you age. So, so we know. When, how, so we do when you bank. You Sorry. So going that line, yeah. we know how old you are. Be <laughs> There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing. Listen, the thing is, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just what I'm trying to uh, to to drive here. Uh, our yeah, people yeah. to understand or people to see, you know, um, to link the age and what you do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all, you know. But um, what what uh, again? What I'm trying here uh, t uh, to show uh, is is that if if you are passionate about something and and you develop. Uh, the act of knowing it more. It doesn't matter how old you are, how you look. Yeah. As, as you know what you're talking about. So you've got a purpose. Um, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm going And to... that purpose doesn't come from, 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 from your booty and, 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 and your nails. <laughs> and, 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 I, I will not say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you do... Um, I don't want to use the word... I don't like the word mentorship, but to, I'm sure there's some people that will inbox you and, and, and you com compliment what you do. Actually, I know somebody here um, that uh, when they saw that I was talking to you, and uh, this guy said, you know, uh, uh, and uh, let me just quote it. Just give me a sec. All right. Right. Um, okay, well, that's amazing. Um, mm. I, I, I like I like that girl. The way she writes and the way she presents herself. I won't. No, right. You know, I, I won't mind. <laughs> in, 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 in that girl. She's unbelievable. So, so this is thank you you may never know but so how do you tell or do you normally i have like a session or talk to people about uh no, not this uh, about just you know being themselves cultivating what they like you know you know not just about uh you know looking beautiful and 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 and, uh, and all that which is it matters as well to how someone looks because you know if you look good if you feel good about yourself then you know it motivates you to do other stuff but do you normally do that? Do you normally like, you know, have time to come to you uh, just to have a chat and, you know? Yeah, I get, I get that. But, but um, just, just before um, uh, we were invaded by, by this pandemic, uh, like I said, I, I, I had um, quite an engaging job as, as, a, as a PA and, and a communication guy or, or lady for, for a, a politician. And juggling that with school kind kind of ate into my time, um, and then now we we had Corona, and then there's, there's a, that aspect that people cannot um, um, conglomerate uh, per se. But we can also cannot take the aspect of social media from 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 this. Yeah, from what I write, I, I get a lot of feedback, I, even from women mostly you tell me oh you really 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 changed my mindset yeah so um uh, that's something I, i'll consider going into once people can be allowed to gather and all that but uh for now i can continue doing it uh, through my social media platforms well you can also i know you do a lot of stuff on youtube which again i'll, I'll let you talk about but you don't have you know if you've got time you know i i do i did i did see on uh on, on twitter and also on social media well on facebook you know there are a few people giving you offers well job opportunities i i don't know what i'm going to say this but i saw you're doing something with ebru tv now not ebru tv it's called uhuru tv it's upcoming i see oh, i see right okay and so you you'll be doing stuff for them as well isn't it oh yeah i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll be um having a show on their TV. Right. Okay. I see. Okay. So maybe. So there's no point of creating something else. If this, if this, you think you can use that uh, as a way of uh, encouraging. And no, 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 no. Um, uh, um, Uhuru TV. That cannot talk my, my my YouTube because my YouTube is my own initiative. Um, and probably 
I, I, I can be more of who and what I want to be on my YouTube because you right. know uh, some of these TVs and can be scripted a little bit and uh, they are there. Uh, a few things that the producers want you to to be like this, be like yes. that, and, and that. So that 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 that's important. Uh, it gives me a different um, challenge, a different platform. But uh, it's also good to do your own things, yes. and and yes. hence hence I'm definitely going to keep building my YouTube channel. Yes. Well, listen, it's it's not an offer I'm giving you, um, but. I, I, I still believe that there's a lot of stuff you can offer uh, to young people. You know, forget about the content, but it's about developing skills. You know, we've, we've got to do something about uh, joblessness. Uh, yeah. So, in terms of varsity, you know, if, yes. if you have time, you know, I think there's um, the Kuban opportunity uh, for, for you and the varsity to do something uh, in, in okay. terms of creating opportunities for people, talking to people about stuff, because right now it's all about internet, isn't it? Yes, yes. You and I, we've never met. But yeah. you know, whoever this is to us, we think, you know, we, we are friends, but we are not friends. Like I've never met you before. Um, yeah. So I will leave that to you. You think about it and uh, we can talk behind the scene. And even those people okay. that are listening to us right now, you know, this can act as an evidence. So you cannot, you cannot turn back. Um, <laughs> so so yeah. last, last question, Aoko. Um, yeah. Do you hate women? I do not hate okay. women, and and and, and I think I've, I've, I've really, really, I, I think uh, uh, um, I've already addressed that a uh, few few minutes ago. That that's that's one of the most mind-boggling, actually, uh, misconceptions that I get, uh, because hating women for for one will mean hating myself because I am a woman. Um, I was bathed by a woman, uh, and and. Um, Sometimes it's, it's, what's the word that I would use uh, without seeming offensive? <laughs> I've, I've got a dictionary with me here, by the way. I've got a dictionary here. So bring, bring it on. <laughs> I let it slide. Uh, but like I said, sometimes as women, especially when, when, um, when we are challenged, we tend to take it as hate. Uh, that's a mindset that we really need to 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 work on, and uh, that will not stop me from from you know poking holes in in some of these things that we've held for a very long time to be true, uh, and that I feel is not true. And I've always um, challenged some of some of these women who feel that I hate women. Like if if you see my post. Uh, about wanting a feminist to come on on, on TV and let's let's that, talk, yeah. yeah, yeah. So see, have, feel you received, like it. have you received some messages? Yes, yes, yes. I've right. received a few, and 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 on Sunday I'm going to host one of them, uh, uh, so that they, they they we get to have a discourse. Why why do they feel that that I hate women? What is feminism to them? And I get to tell them why a feminism is balderdash to me. <laughs> well, listen, Aoko, I, I cannot thank you enough, um, you know, you know, for your time, uh, you know, for those that have listened to us. Uh, this is Mtandao Varsity, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, School of Soft Skills, and uh, the platform is uh, to to share or to promote um, soft skills, things that employers are looking for besides education. And today I was speaking to uh, Aoko Otieno on uh, writing skills, uh, building confidence, and being passionate. I will tell you those are stuff that employers want. You know, yeah. yes, school is good, do go to school, but also you want to develop those characters or those behaviors that make you uh, stand out. Um, Aoko, I'll say uh, yeah. thank you very much for your time. And I know we shall be- no, Thank you. So do have a nice evening and goodbye for now. Thank you very much for having me.